Let's take a look at how we can add members to the PLC team we just created. In this case, St. Peter Literacy PLC. To add members to a team, first find your team in the list and click on the three dots to the right of your team name and then select Add Members. To add someone who belongs to our organization, ECSD, simply start typing their name. They should appear in a list that you can then select them from. So for example, I can add John Ned. I can continue adding names of the individuals who I want to be members of my team. Once I've added everyone's name into the field, I can then click Add to add them to my team. Notice that the individuals are added to our team as members. You can change their level of permission by making them owners. Simply click on the drop down next to member and then select owner. Now, I highly recommend if you create a team to appoint more than one person as owner of the team. This way, if you happen to move on to a new role in your school or take a new position at a different school, you can simply request to leave the team without having to delete the team, thus leaving it active for the rest of the members. I would also recommend that you add your admin to your team as members so that they can view your activity, progress, and provide support or guidance if needed. Lastly, something to keep in mind when adding members to your team is that all members will have full edit privileges in each of your channels of your team. Only the owner has permissions to actually delete a team. You can change these permissions or manage these permissions by clicking on the three dots to the right of the team name and selecting Manage Team. First, you will see a list of all members and their role, whether they are an owner or a member. To view settings, click on the Settings tab and then click Member Permissions. You will see that currently members are allowed to create and update channels, delete and restore channels, add and remove apps, create, update and remove tabs, and create, update and remove connectors. You can change any of these permissions by simply unchecking these checkboxes. So for example, if I do not want members to be able to delete channels, I would simply uncheck this checkbox. 